Oh, there's a big one. There's a stay on, baby. That's a nice one. That is a nice one for this creek. Stay on. Oh. Welcome back to another adventure. Super excited today. We are not on the kayak today. We are actually wade fishing. It's super hot in Arkansas the next two weeks. A lot of creeks are low and shallow. Haven't had any rain. We're kind of in a drought too. There is some rivers I can hit, but unfortunately they're about three hours away. So I'm gonna wait where I can camp those overnight to really get full feel of the adventure. So I thought I would take full advantage of today and how hot it is and some of these shallow creeks here locally and just do some wade fishing. Just stay cool in the water, hit some shady pockets when I can, and find some smallmouth bass or whatever bites, basically. Anyways, this is a giveaway video, and all you gotta do to get this Plusono telescoping seven foot pole and reel is to go to my Instagram page and like the picture you see with this rod with a fish, hopefully and make a comment below and follow me if you haven't already on instagram i need some more followers over there so i'm doing a little giveaway as long as you follow me on instagram you can win this setup right here plus all the travel gear you saw in the intro of the unboxing if you don't win this rod and reel setup i have a 20 percent off discount code in the description below take full advantage of this rod it's on sale right now plus get an additional 20 percent off of this setup and travel bag so we're going to put it to the test today i'm going to give a full review on it and uh, just see how it goes so anyway stick with me stay tuned and hopefully i'll catch you downstream okay. fish on <laughs> decent one decent oh stay on baby oh that's a nice little small mouth for this creek stay on baby stay on baby <laughs> yeah nice that's a quality small mouth come here baby come here don't come off there don't come off there come here beautiful small mouth man did not expect it catch him out of here look at that beautiful fish probably 14 maybe 15 actually caught him on the green gizzard shad crankbait 1.0 just a great pattern for clear water like this here i am dropping my whole awesome plusono setup in the water there beautiful fish nice healthy smallmouth just munched on that uh crankbait i saw him swimming i was like oh gosh so i cast it up ahead of him about 10 feet and he smashed it thanks for that awesome fight bud here he goes beautiful fish oh. i'm gonna go to a swim bait
Okay, I'm tying on this uh, Six Sense Divine swim bait. I got these at H24 Outdoors. I bit off the head a little bit just because a lot of these fish are small, just to make it easier for them to get hooked on. But look how awesome that looks. I just got a little swim hook on there, about a fourth of an ounce. That should get munched. Oh. I got, oh, he's got it, he's got it, fish on. He hit that bait twice, <laughs> little guy. <laughs> Finally got him hooked, just a little Kentucky. Well, now he, uh, yeah, he's a Kentucky. Beautiful little fish. Let him go back where he was at. Little, little guy. There you go, buddy. Oh, there's a big one. There's a stay on, baby. That's a nice one. That is a nice one for this creek. Stay on. <laughs> Large mouth. Large mouth. Stay on, baby. He's about to jump. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Oh. Stay on, baby. Come here. Come here. That's a nice creek bass right there. Come here. Got him. <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, skipped a swim bait underneath that big shady tree over there and he smashed it. Beautiful fish. Barely had him pinned. Nice one, healthy fish for this creek. There's fish, another bass. Stay on. Oh, another healthy bass. There we go. He's still on there. Oh, he popped off again. Dead gummit. Oh, no. Is that a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. The bass came out of that grass over there. Maybe I can keep this one on small ones I can the nicer ones I lose good gracious there's a fish he's on my little bass little fry there oh, he off fish this little drop right here where the rapids are or shoals see if we can get a fish out of here before we move downstream any yep fish on already <laughs> little small mouth right there in the middle of that little shallow current there right where he's supposed to be little guy on that six cents divine swim bait from H24 Outdoors. Put him in the water. I don't know if the dunk my GoPro again is. Ha. I said that too soon. I wanted to dunk it, not let nature dunk me. Good gosh. About pulled a hammy on that one. Oh gosh. These are slick rocks. That's going to leave a mark. Oh. Ow. Ooh, that looks money over there. Yep. Oh, nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Stay on, baby. Stay on. <laughs> Look at that fish. Come on. Stay on, baby. Don't get off there. Don't get off there. That's no. Come here. Come here. No. That fart head came off. <laughs> Dang it. That was a nice one. Last jump. He got off there. That was a good one. There's a small mouth. Maybe I can keep this guy up in. Good gracious. I'm 
I'm getting trying to get too much B row and let them jump and play around with them versus just trying to get down and scoop them. That's what I need to do. Quit playing around. Let these little guys jump up and do some acrobatics. Oh, sucks. That was a nice bass. I think it's time to get a new swim bait. This one, I've been trying to preserve it and it's just torn up shreds. Too many fish on it. Okay, let's go ahead and swap her up. I'm actually gonna try this color this time. It's the uh, Divine Bluegill. It's another good color for this clear water stream. Might even get more on versus that other one. I had so many followers on that other silver shad pattern, but not as many that was gonna commit. And the ones I did get on was uh, more from skipping it and it was a reaction bite underneath these shady trees. <sighs> Especially those nice ones. All right, we're gonna put this baby on. See if we can get some on it. And this is the Divine Bluegill. Very nice pattern. This right here is what I'm talking about. It's a nice, healthy spot right here. Yep. Oh, he missed it. Oh, there he is. He's got it that time. He's got it. He's got it. Come here, dude. He's in the grass, a little smallmouth. Little bitty guy. Micro, dude. Thanks for that fight, though. He wanted the bluegill. Munched it. Oh, nice safe. Put a little flint there. We're good. We're good. Battery check. We're still good there. Okay. A little damp on the side there. Oh. Ate it. Don't look too deep. But. So give it a sand under here. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish under that tree. That's what I came over here for. <laughs> nice. Good and good and good and there we go. There we go. He wanted that bluegill. I just skipped underneath that little bush right there. Oh yeah. We had to do a little surgery and uh it was down in his throat a little bit he choked it he's fine he's kind of figure out where he's at now but i had to cut the line and then uh pull it through its gills so he's good he's back over in the bushes That was refreshing. It is about 97 degrees today. Woo! That <sighs> felt good. I just left my shirt on because I got about a two mile hike back out and this would keep me cool all the way out. So, <laughs> so that's why I went ahead and uh, left my shirt on. Also left my GoPro on because it's overheating and I just needed to soak it for a minute or two. That way it'll cool down, reset. Maybe it won't overheat on the way out. And then there's a breeze that just picked up. So feels good anyways i think we're ready to uh, hike back upstream just because we've reached our uh end point here i want to go ahead and shout out asap fishing i'll put his link in the description below but uh i saw him wearing these shoes on instagram i was like dude where'd you get those shoes at and he uh shared it with me they're called cross six i think or cross kicks something like that so anyways i'll put a link in the description I'm not affiliated with these at all, but they're just sweet. And they bail out water really fast. They got some holes near the sole. And uh, man, they're just great for wade fishing. Now I had been slipping today, but oh, there's a fish. But with the way these rocks are, I think it wouldn't have mattered. I would have slipped on any shoe. 
for sure because they're just so slick anyways just caught a green sunfish on the 60. there we go little guy but anyways thanks asap fishing for putting me on these awesome shoes and uh, just a little shout out to you man appreciate it Oh, I saw some waking. Oh, he got to get it. He's got it. <laughs> Yo, did you see that jump? Oh, man. That might have been the one I spooked over there. <laughs> that was awesome. Come here, baby. I'll let you go. Hey, he smoked that plopper. Man, he's a fighter. Come here. Come here. Don't get off. Would you settle down there? That's a, that's a long one right there. Okay, let's get you pinned where you, oh gosh, you're going to hook me, you're going to hook me, just a minute, oh, he's off, he's off, I got him, look at that baby right there, not a big one, but boy did he fight in this shallow water there, probably about 11 inches, thanks for that fight bud. Got a fish on little guy little bass the only problem with these whopper ploppers is you can't skip them at least i can't maybe you can but i'll try with that little swim bait i could skip it underneath that tree real easy oh dude oh don't don't do it don't do it he's about to get me on fart head oh dude that was close come on man i was trying to free you Flash my camera. It is scorching. That's why I wanted to wade fish today. I'm sorry this is not a typical kayak fishing adventure, but it was a perfect day to get wet, and boy did I get wet. I uh, dove in the water there, kind of swimmed around a couple minutes, cooled off my body, cooled off my GoPro. It's on its last leg. I was trying to do an outro in it, and just beep beep, too hot, and shut off on me. So anyways, I'm not sure if it caught it, but uh, this was an awesome setup. But you know, I've owned two of these, not this specific brand or model, but you know, ones you get at Walmart or Amazon. And the final guide there with that last telescopic in there always breaks. I always have to shorten it. This one held up well. I even tripped today and caught myself with it. I don't know if you can see that scratch right there, but yeah, I fell hard on this today and it still held up strong. So awesome setup. It's got a little hook keeper right there. That also acts as your uh, little screw down for your reel. So they definitely optimized the space when they built this and put a little added features in there to make your fishing experience better. So if you're interested in winning this, uh, like I said in the intro, go to my Instagram page, follow me, uh, look for this rod picture, like it and put a little comment below and you'll be entered in the drawing for this and I'll send you a brand new set through mail to your house. I definitely got on a lot of size today for you know wade fishing a creek this small and this shallow. But man, I was just playing around with them too much, try to get that B-row and that slow mo jumps and you know and stuff like that, versus just pulling them in and lipping them real quick. They'd shake off, but that's okay. Still got on some nice ones. Probably the biggest today was that 16 inch one that shook off when I was playing with it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next adventure.